Hi, Dan. Hi, I'm, I'm Dan Smegrod. I'm founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Uh, we're at, at Atlanta Tech Village uh, in uh, Buckhead, Georgia. And joining me today is... Eli. I'm Eli uh, Khoury. I'm uh, the co-founder of uh, Dermandar. That means all around. All around. And so I, I am super excited. You've got to stay with us through the entire video. Uh, I've known uh, Ellie, I want to say, gee, for six, seven years in this space of 3D, VR, 360. And he's, bought, he's brought some uh, way cool toys with him uh, in, this, uh, in this space. And uh, Ellie, how about taking us through, what do you got? Okay, sure. So um, we started at Dermandar in 2010 by a cylindrical 360 app. So uh, the, the app is, initial, initial name was Dermandar, but unpronounceable, so it ended up being DMD Panorama, if you ever uh, played with it. Or maybe you have seen it through our third party uh, clients or developers, because the, the way we capture 360 cylinder is uh, using two symbols, yin and yang, that match it, matches that match each other every time you rotate. So eventually, if you have seen the yin and yang in any other app, it means that uh, it's it's a license of our technology of capturing 360 cylinders with a mobile application, either iOS or Android. And and, and as I recall, uh, Demander had 10 million plus downloads. Yeah, on both. On both platforms, both Android platforms. and iOS. iOS, 8 million, 2 million Android. Uh, Android people, the gyro sensors in the Android are really not at the level. It's too bad if you can spread the message for all these manufacturers to put better gyro sensors because, I mean, for the VR, for everything, we need good gyros. So, yeah. End of parenthesis. But, but just as a, you know, for context, to, to know that we're talking to one of the pillars of the technology who really understands all the challenges, uh, particularly related to the stitching and the math of the stitching, to uh, think of it as like, well, that's magic. Somebody has to create the magic, and, and we're actually visiting with the magic maker. Oh, thank you. And, and you have more magic to show us. Thank you. So we started cylindrical 360 creation. Um, then we thought that we had to go spherical. Everyone wants spherical up and down. Uh, so two different approaches here. If we want to do it on a smartphone, uh, either rotating multiple turns and rotating by tilting the device up and down, this is the multi-row approach. Some apps offer this. Google offers this, and I mean, this is a great way, but it ends up with a lot of rotations and it ends up with a lot of potential errors if you're in narrow places. So we thought, and but we're not, I mean, the only people to think about this. I mean, we thought like other people thought before to use a fish islands, an add-on fish islands, and just to make one turn and let uh, the life of the users uh, just be a bit more easy. Uh, so fisheye lens, usually a clippable, universal clippable fisheye lens uh, that you can get from uh, Amazon as low as one dollar, can offer a field of view that is up to 180 degree. So by clipping this fisheye lens to your phone, you end up with enough vertical field of view that one turn is enough. Of course, you have the DSLR quality. Uh, fisheye lenses, but this is the smartphone fisheye lenses. This one actually goes on my smartphone. Wow! Has a has a big clip. Has a, has a very big clip. big clip. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Wow! Fantastic. Yeah. Haven't seen this. This one. Yeah. Okay. So, with a fisheye lens that you can either clip universally on any phone or screw on your cover if you have the appropriate cover you end up with a solution with only nine shots would lead to a 360 result. I say nine shots, people would think that two or three may be enough, but making more shots, more overlap, more good pixels, 
because the central pixels are better than lateral pixels, you know, because of the warping. G give me context. Are, are, are you selling hardware? Are you selling software? No, we recommend hardware. Recommend we, hardware. We have identified okay. the best fisheye lenses. We have yeah. tested hundreds of fisheye lenses. Yeah. This is the only one we haven't tested. And yeah, yeah, it's good. Well, I, I, I know you're going back to, uh, to Lebanon. So yeah. you may not be able to buy this uh, locally. So uh, my my, my I'll, gift. I'll get it with my, Amazon Prime. But I mean, if you want to give me something, my, my gift to you. This is fantastic. Thank yeah. you. It needs to be packed up uh, before we leave because I didn't okay. assemble it. But uh, thank you, thank you. Be able no. to test that one. Um, so uh, yeah, so with the fish islands and one turn, you get the spherical. The app is not released, but we have a test flight for iOS, we can send the APK, APK for you on Android if you'd like to test it early before the release, uh, just reach out. So, on so help, help me out, so this is a an app or is it licensed software or is it both? both? We have and the, the brand name for this is? Uh, no decision for the brand so far, so it's just a test flight beta app. Okay for whoever would like okay, to test. So as, as we're recording this today, it is Friday, March 3rd, 2017. You're still in beta on the software yeah. for doing 360 spherical stitching in conjunction with a smartphone yeah. and a, a fisheye lens. Yeah. Uh, and, and you support a number of the different fisheye lenses. Yes, it's stitched on device instantly and it provides an 8K resolution, 8K by 4K and, resolution. And is that, um, is that shooting, it doesn't shoot video, obviously. We have a video, we have a video. That's I'll a tell, different I'll solution. Tell more. Okay, this okay. Is I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, this is for the rotation of the what, camera. What, what I'm uh, describing here is the, uh, uh, the, let's say the product number one that takes just a static 360 spherical photo. Uh, we have a video version that I will mention just after. Okay, great. So you can either now, do it. Uh, help, help me out. Oh, maybe I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, are, are, you, yeah. are you manually doing this and rotating your body yeah. or are you putting it on a tripod? And Both are possible. So okay. you have the handheld mode yeah. where you just rotate. Yeah. Handheld mode. Well, I'm, I'm mentioning uh, instant stitching on device because some other solution have a server server based yes. stitching. We do all on device. Yeah. And we get the 8K resolution on device. So hard to believe, challenge us. I will send you. When I, we say beta, it doesn't mean that we're still making trials like other people that say beta and early beta. It's a beta because we're still thinking about the branding, but you can still buy the SDK and put it in your app because you have your brand. So it's, I mean, we were going to launch an app. We're thinking about just how to launch it because the fish islands is a requirement so we want to make sure about the channel should we sell it through the fish eye hardware resellers or through our own channel so this is why it's better but if you already know how to sell it because you have your app you have your clients we can recommend the fish islands for you we can eventually give you the best price for the best lenses we really tested them all you have for the same price you can get crap or fantastic lenses so we tested them, we can tell you what to get for your clients and then you can put our SDK inside your solution for smartphone, when, uh, uh, iOS or Android. So if you don't want to have a handheld solution because you want to speed up things, make them automated, you can get a rotator. Rotator, isn't so that great? Yep. We have this mechanical rotator that is just an egg miniature system. Yes. You're wind it up and it rotate by itself. Are you going to shoot that a 360 of I us? I can do this. So this is very exciting. While, while Ellie is shooting a 360 of, of, of us, I should be still so I don't mess up the, yeah. the stitching. I haven't here. started it, just showing that it rotates mechanically. I'm okay. going to I'm, start I'm doing the again. mannequin challenge yeah. while you're doing that. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'll do it. While, while you're doing that, so interestingly, while we're getting a demonstration of 360, okay. we're actually recording this on a Ricoh, a Ricoh Theta S for video. And actually over here, we're using the Insta360 Air uh, on an Android device. So we got all kinds of 360 stuff going on that we're using to record while we're actually uh, yeah, learning So I, I can show you the app, the app that I can share with you. So the interface is obviously the yin and yang symbol yes. to drive the shooting. Yes. You have a selector for, sorry, this is a gallery, yeah, of course. So you can you have the gallery of the pre the the fish the 
360 your shot, but here you have a selector of all the currently supported. Oh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. All the supported yeah. lenses. And of course, you can just uh, use the rotator or handheld. Yes. So, uh, would you like me to do a handheld yeah, 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 one? Yeah. Let's do a handheld okay. and then the rotator. Okay. Yeah. So, do I need to do anything special? No, no, I'm just going to rotate. If you want to yeah. see, if you want to see how it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'll, so I'll be behind him, so I'm not messing up the process. First shot. Okay, so he's doing still shots. So. And is it shooting automatically? Yes. Yeah. And then, this is the last shot. And if you have the 8K result that will appear. Okay. And you get your 8K, guys. Yeah, so this is this is amazing. We're not seeing any stitching errors in the little bit that we're looking at here. I'm going but to I, go I'm, into cardboard mode yeah. and show it with the yeah. cardboard. And I'm, I'm going to ask Ellie to uh, send me the link, if you don't mind, for the, for the image. And we'll, we'll uh, put it in the We Get Around Network forum. So let's go take a look at. Whoop, whoop, it's whoop, okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's only your mobile device there. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So I got it in VR. So this was an instant 360, and I'm actually looking for for uh, stitching errors as I look around, and I don't see any. And I, I've been in this this space for for quite some time. We have a nice and mirror that is put automatically on the bottom yeah. for covering the nadir. Yes. And on the zenith, we have put our logo to cover yeah. the small field of view that is not covered by this lens that yeah. is. Uh, yeah. So you have the uh, you have the the top that has a small logo. Yeah. Uh, because this lens is a cheap 160 degree lens. Yeah. So we still have 20 degrees, 10 on the top, 10 on the, the bottom. bottom. On the bottom, we are putting a, a mirror. Okay. And are we in the Demander app right now? No. Or this is the beta app. That the beta app is the next generation of Demander. This yeah. is this is the child of, of exactly. the legacy exactly. Demander app. Exactly. I can now automatically share it on Facebook immediately, and uh, I'll do it afterwards. Uh, that, that's fine. Because then, I need to and, connect and, to the Wi-Fi. Which is fine. And then please send us a, a link. Please send me a link to that so that we can uh, all the digital assets, things that we're doing today in the recording, so that you can actually yeah. uh, go back and actually look at it in your uh, VR viewer yeah. uh, or uh, uh, click on it. Uh, so let's do Facebook. it now on the rotator. Okay. Do I have to stay still for this? It's okay. Don't move too much though. Okay. So uh, I'll start let's here. Are doing this I'll right? Yeah. Okay. You're so this is the bubble pod rotator. That simplifies, I mean, the process because you will always have perfect results if there is no problem with the demo. You can now. I guess, relax. I guess, I guess that's like a mathematical theorem related to uh, challenges doing uh, demos live. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Live. Murphy law. Mur Murphy's law. There we go. And I'm actually seeing the yin and yang com complete to know that the, the shot's actually uh, com complete. So, and here you have the 8K result as well that you can look with your... Yeah, so how, how uh, I'll just rotate around. How far away does the camera need to be from the nearest object for it not to have a stitching? Problem? Zero. Is that possible? It is, because we're rotating around the nodal point. Yes. I have, I, if you remember how I put the, the lens, I've put it on the nodal axis. Yeah. I've put it offset. Ah, ah you offset it and put it in the right spot so that it, there's, a, there's no parallax. No parallax. Okay. All right. Great. I got this. What, what else you got in your... Uh, okay. Your so now, this is great, but this rotates continuously. So if it rotates continuously, it means that the picture are shot why is rotating so there is some blurriness in dark spaces we have this rotator now that is bluetooth controlled so this rotator uh ellie go back just tell me the brand name of the one that we that we did this first. is the bubble pod the bubble pod okay that comes with an app called bubble pics okay. and you have 
okay. our technology in bubble pics as well that stitches the images. So you can buy this online. Okay, hang on one sec. So what we're learning about the Insta360 is that after 15 minutes, it gets a little bit hot. It actually just timed out. So I'm gonna hit the camera again, see if it'll let us uh, continue recording, which it is. So it, it, at some point, it really, the camera may actually overheat and it will have to uh, uh, continue with the Rico Theta S. So okay, great. As and you see, in which uh, rotator is this one? This is a rotator that doesn't have a brand because we're going to brand it ourselves. We have designed it and we are uh, purchasing a volume of these uh, rotators that are going to be distributed with the lens and with the cardboard as a kit, the VR kit. Yes. So you get the cardboard, the, the glasses, yes. the lens, yes. the, of course the clip for the lens and the rotator, Yes. and it would be packaged and sold as the VR kit to yes. make perfect 8K pictures. Okay. So, um, very no, exciting. The VR kit. The, the, the brand is the VR kit. Very exciting. And I presume there's a place for the tripod mount on the bottom of uh, that road? It will come with a nice, uh, yeah, there is a, a turn place. Turn it over. So it has a consumer mount on the bottom and we yeah. could use a, a little mount to, to get to our professional tripod. Absolutely. Li literally use this kit to shoot 360s. Yes. So, for example, if you're using uh, Emo Viewer as a platform to publish, this becomes a uh, perhaps a, a right now. I think most people maybe are using the Rico Theta S yeah. to paired with the Emo Viewer platform yeah. uh, to publish a three a, a tour. And and now we're we're talking about the, a a bump up in quality that is 8K versus oh 4K. Maybe. Mm, I don't even know it's 4K. Yeah, I, the yeah. quality is just is simply just not there yeah, yet. Yeah. So this means I could use my own smartphone. Yeah. Uh, would I be able to pair this with my iPhone 7, for example? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, iPhone 7. Uh, this so is a 7 Plus. 7 Plus. And that's you what can I have. do it okay. now. People ask about how to deal with these dual lens on the 7 yeah. Plus. So we provide a cover, optional cover. Yeah. So this is a cover for the 6S. Yeah where you can screw the lens, yeah. that is the same, an optional cover for the 7 Plus, yeah. or you can use the front cam, that is really good on the uh, 7, 7 plus. plus, so you can plug it on the uh, okay. front so, as well. And, and I believe that there's someone working on a, a dual lens mount for the iPhone 7 Plus to take into account, uh, not to use the two lenses, but so that it physically fits over the, the Plus. Well, yes, we, we do have the Oloclip. Yeah, that is it's the camera guys. Yeah, yeah. hey. We, the Oloclip is compatible with the 7 Plus already. If yeah. you get the Oloclip uh, fisheye lens, you can just plug it on the... That, that one's actually physically works yeah, on the yeah, iPhone yeah, 7. Yeah. Okay, so the significance of, I think, what we're seeing here is a... Uh, the, the, so if we, if we think about many of us who are using a Matterport camera, maybe you've paid $4,500 and uh, now uh, new price as of March 1, uh, 3,900. Uh, I, I won't ask your price, you're still trying to figure it out. But the it's $99, the, nine, VR, the VR kit is $99. Is for, for, for a, so, so keep in mind the Ricoh Theta was about 350, I think it's uh, 299 now. And so I think the significance of what we're talking about is we've now gone to, for a hundred bucks, you can create an 8K 360 Photosphere with no seam, with no seam that are perfectly shot, and, and then be able to publish them to a platform like Emo Viewer yep. to be able to have a tour. And so, if you're wondering about, you know, is this a threat or an opportunity to what I'm doing? Uh, this is something really to take a, you know, to take consider, a look at. Consider this as a camera. I mean, this is a tool. It's a camera that comes like the Ricoh Theta or something else that can plug to any system. I mean, Emo Viewer that are uh, a client of our technology for cylindrical shot already yeah. in their app, they, uh, they could consider putting yeah. this system as an option, yeah. as an alternative to the Ricoh Yeah, Theta. and so, you, you know, normally I would say, you know, okay, uh, if there are a ton of people that enter the market to use a, a device like this, that will help grow the space for those of us that are professional ph photographers uh, creating tours. On the other hand, 
if this is creating a uh, an 8K 360 perfectly stitched image, I'm presuming it's not HDR though, because it's rotating well, on around. A, on Android, it is HDR. It's HDR. Because okay. HDR is offered for free yeah. by the API. And this rotator stops every 40 degrees. Yeah. So it allows for the three shots to be taken. Yeah. So on iOS, we are developing the oh. HDR and you'll get it on iOS also. Oh, okay. So like this is crazy because you know part of what you're thinking is to say, oh, you know, yeah, but it'll be an amateur shot and I'm a professional and I got the right gear. This is crazy because this means that anyone, anywhere, at any time, will be able to shoot HDR, HDR 360, 8K, 8K, and then be able to uh, uh, upload it again to a yeah. platform like Emo Viewer to create the tour. And you're asking me on how to close the Zenit in the, this is just a prototype yes. in the uh, production that is available. I mean, we're going to release this mid-April, so six weeks from now. So that's April 2017. I know we'll have right. a long life for our videos on the so, internet, so we should point so that out. So the holder will be tiltable, <clears throat> and then if you tilt it, you will cover the zenith. And of course, there is no usefulness of covering the nadir, because yes. the nadir, you have the rotator. So the hole on the top can be covered by just tilting the device 10 degrees. There, there is a is it 10 degrees option. back? Is it, uh, yeah, it should be okay <coughs> because... Is it 10 degrees back or yes. 10 degrees forward? 10 uh, degrees, 10 degrees back. Back. Yeah. back. Back. And, and so, okay. Then you close, <coughs> you close the top. You, you close the top and... With uh, a cheap lens because we are uh, designing an expensive lens that will have 180 degrees. You, you get so much, you're like Mary Poppins. This, this is, is something only, new that keeps coming out. This of is the, only yeah. product number one. Product number one, okay. We have more to come. So okay. I think we have time. It's 410, you have time. The the cameras are still have the ability to record. They're still recording. Great, yeah. so yeah. Let's, let, we're on to the next. The, uh, the product one still have a lot to, to say. Um, oh, on this yes, one, yes, really? Yes. Okay. Let me show it. I'll, okay. I'll do one, uh, okay. one, one uh, capture now. Okay. So this one is better than the previous because it will uh, stop every 40 degrees yeah. and get the HDR ability. Oh, okay. Yeah, let, definitely let's do that because I'd like to be able to share that link. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I don't have the HDR on this sample. Ah, uh, okay. But it will be on the okay. uh, final one. Uh, but on the Android, it's already there because it's offered by the system. Yes. Here we need just to add it. This is just the, but okay. I'm saying that it, it is HDR ready because it's going to stop. So we'll be able to capture three bracketed pictures. So let's go for it. So you see, it's going to rotate 40 degrees, stop, take the picture. Wait, 40 degrees, stop, take the picture. So, uh, this, uh, this is just a prototype. The, uh, the one that we are d designing and producing will be much smoother and it will have 4,000 steps. So you see here it has not many steps. This is where you see some vibration and you see it stopping at 20 and then rotating to 40. But the one we're designing, we have completely changed the inside gears, in, gears and uh, step motors for 4,000 steps so that it would be very smooth. So now that it's done, I'll show you the results. And this is much sharper and crispier than the previous one because it has stopped to take every... Yeah, this is remarkable. So, uh, you know, I, gee, I, uh, I see, let's see, three, six years ago, seven years ago, I was working in a previous life in this kind of space. This just wasn't possible. The, yeah. the, the jaggies, the stitching, the quality of the image wasn't there. So this is really uh, quite remarkable. Yeah. Do you have other things to yeah. talk about on this one or yeah, more devices? Still on this still one. On this one? Okay. Yeah, right. so we release in mid-April the, the VR kit yeah. and it will offer you what you have just seen yeah. and the app will be free. Yes. The app will be free. Yes. But we are working on a small upgrade that will just shift the uh, axis of rotation yes. of the interpupillary distance, yeah. and you'll have the 3D 360 that will come one month after okay, the release. Okay, so I'm now sh I am literally shivering hearing that that's possible. Yes. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, you taught math for for seven years. Yeah. This this is like you live and breathe 
how to yeah. do this. Yeah. This is really exciting. So I, I'm tingling just even knowing that uh, that I'll be able to use my smartphone and uh, the VR uh, kit. The VR kit, less than a hundred bucks, and create magic. 8K yeah. per eye. Yeah. And then it will be just a small offsetting system that will put the rotation.